Hey everybody, what's going on? This is me, Alex, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at where I get all my wallpapers for any of my iOS or Android devices. So without any further delay, let's go right ahead and get started. Now I get all my wallpapers off of mostly Google, but if I occasionally download the application such as Wallpapers HD or Wallpapers HQ, uh, there are multiple applications out there on the app stores and play stores for you know paper, wallpapers, but however all of those require some Wi-Fi, so if you're out somewhere else, might as well just go to Google, it's better, and you can actually type in and search for pretty much exactly what you want out of uh, you know a wallpaper instead of having to go ahead and just browse through a whole bunch of people's uh, user submitted wallpapers that are sometimes even copied off of Google so for me I recommend just going on Google and typing in like technology wallpaper or if you see the wallpaper right behind me it's actually a facet about by Justin Mahler go ahead and check him out on his Twitter Facebook and Instagram does amazing work here it's a 1080p display uh, rocking at around 1920 by 1080 resolution so it does do a fantastic job and most of his work is at 1080p but however he it did start to create some work at 4k resolutions for this newer monitors ultra hd tvs so i definitely recommend you go ahead and check them out you can just type in uh, 1080p facets on google and you will definitely come up this one i believe was actually number one so uh, it's probably most popular one and it's pretty cool so i definitely recommend you go ahead and check them out uh, he does absolutely outstanding work um, so yeah, uh, there's multiple ways you can do that. Um, wallpaper is HD, however, there is a problem with that though. And the situation with that one is is how uh, they they sort of combine all the wallpapers for multiple applications. And since there is multiple applications out there on the market on the Play Store and uh, and other stores, app stores, I almost forgot about that one. Uh, there are multiple ways of doing that and that's very difficult for people to just keep it one direction However, it uh, finally just comes down to one application. I would choose that is wallpapers HD and Google So let me go let me know what you guys think in the comment section But for now, I'm just gonna really show you guys how to use wallpapers HD So let's go right ahead and get onto the phone view right about now a Wallpaper is very important in the phone whether it's just on the home screen lock screen or just a standby wallpaper it really displays and defines the type of phone that you have and the type of person that you are. Whether you like a certain type of wallpaper such as a landscape, abstract, or even just a facet sort of like me, or something natural, natural sort of like uh, what I have right now, it's uh, very easy to get wallpapers by just downloading a few apps such as this one, Wallpaper HD. That's the one I really enjoy using a lot and it brings me a variety of wallpapers every single day future brands. I can toggle between a whole bunch of categories, textile, stars, and if I swipe to the right, I can always go to the hottest section up top there, which allows me to go ahead and display all the hottest new wallpapers for today's in 2014. So it's pretty cool and it does get updated a lot uh, that way because they're adding new wallpapers and new sections and new features every single time they do update it. But there are really, really cool wallpapers and new features that many wallpaper apps do not have, such as this one. This app is relatively new for Android devices and on uh, Apple, Apple iPads, iPhones, and iPads, Airs, and all stuff. Uh, they do have a similarly closest application uh, called Wallpaper HQ, which is what I mentioned earlier in the video. That's another one I like to use on all my Apple devices, but for Android devices, these are the ones that I use. Uh, I really like, of course, to use Google as well for the facet wallpapers since those are not available on the, any application so far. Um, that's pretty cool. To basically take an application, or for some reason uh, it's not working right now, but all you do is pretty much just tap on it. And if you tap on the little eye or info, it brings up the size of the wallpaper so you know the image's size, dimensions for your phone. In this case, it's the Nexus 5 that I am showing you guys right here. And it does bring me a variety. All you do right here to set, set the wallpaper as, you can click on a set picture as just as you see right there, or go ahead and compose it or email it to someone if you feel like. You can go to uh, the wallpaper devices settings, wallpaper display, and select wallpaper HD and actually download the wallpaper from there. So that's another way to do it. However, that's much harder to do because you have to uh, go through 
and find the wallpaper a second time because you have to confirm that this is the wallpaper you want but for me it's easier just to save it right on the application go back into display select wallpaper go to gallery and then select camera which then I will select my wallpaper that I chose click on set wallpaper on the top left hand corner and boom my wallpaper is set so that's pretty much how you get wallpapers on any device if you guys enjoyed that video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys already have not done that to stay tuned to the latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films as always I will see you guys in my next video peace